Hi guys, it's me again, Valerie Rebus, the CEO of Royal Classy Creations, where we create customized classy designs that showcase our clients' individual style, leaving their guests astounded. I am here today with another DIY tutorial for you, and it's going to be one of those Z Gallery inspired pieces. Really nice piece. It's a little flower um, display uh, holder and I'm going to be making this to put in my bathroom so uh, stay tuned so we're back guys and this is a very simple piece so all you're going to need is these long rectangular uh, picture frames you're going to use the glass out of this then you need your little mini dessert um, what would these be called? Dessert glasses, I guess. And these are the plastic ones. They do have the glass ones at the Dollar Tree, but um, the plastic ones will work in this piece because you don't want anything too heavy because it's going to be between the two glasses. Um, also, this came from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need these shower rings. And you can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, I had got I got these at Walmart. Um, so you can get these or any that you want to get. You might want to get the clear ones or the silver ones. I just um, decided to get these. Uh, and then you're going to need whatever flower you'd like to put in there. And I found these at Walmart too. And they are so, so nice. And they only cost $3 at Walmart. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So what we need to do first is to take our glass out of our frame. And that's pretty simple. You just pop these open. And you just pop that right out like that. And put your frames over to the side because you may use those for another project. Um, so now what we have to do once we open this, and I'm only going to need about three of these, so you can put the rest of those to the side for another project as well. Oops. And it's okay. You can drop it. It's not going to break. So, the first thing that you're going to do is, you're going to get your rings, and you're going to put them on your first glass and you're going to kind of space them out in the space that you would like and I'm just eyeballing to see where I want it and then I'm going to glue that down and I'll come back to let you know how that looks, okay? So this is what it's going to look like. I'm using uh, a glue gun for the purposes of this video, but um, for you guys, if you want something that's going to be long lasting, you should use your uh, E6000 or I use my Gorilla Glue. Just make sure that you have the right one. Because I ended up getting the wrong one. This one dries. When it dries, it turns white. You don't want that when you have clear glass. Um, this is the one I usually use. It's the clear. And I ran out, went to buy some more, and I ended up with the wrong one. So, you don't want to do that. So, make sure that you have the right one, people. Okay? So, now what I want to do to make sure that this is even with the other glass as well. I'm going to lay that glass on top of this one and make sure it's straight. 
and then because I can see through that to the other side, then I'll know where to place my other rings. So I'm going to close these up. Then I'm going to place my other rings. And that way they're going to be even with the others. And then I just put my blue at the top and put a dot on each one of those. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm just placing it in the same place um, that the other one is. On the other um, glass. Applying the pressure. Working with glass, you want to use a high temp glue gun because it gives you a little, a little time to move some things around if you place it in the wrong place. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dessert cups and I'm just going to place them right there in that groove and then we're going to make sure they're even. So it's going to go right there in that groove and you see you put it in there, it kind of stays there. So we're going to make sure it's even. And then we'll glue that down. Let's put the glue here in those same spots that you did when placing the rings.
And as you can see, I'm holding on to my leveler uh, to keep it in place so that I am getting these even. And as I'm eyeballing it, they look pretty even to me. See that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to add the glue here and then we're going to put it on top of, you know, it's going to go that way. We're going to put it on top of the cups there and glue that down. And then I'll bring it back and let you see the finished product. Now, you see how cute that is? It may be a little bit uneven or whatever, but when you use your regular glue and that kind of thing, then um, it's going to look really, really nice. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll add our and just add your flowers. Or you can ha add some little clear gems in there and um, then add your flowers. Any way you want to do it, you can put some color gems in there if you want and add your flowers. So um, it's very, very easy project um, to do and you can place that anywhere in your bathroom or wherever i'm going to put mine in my bathroom so uh, that's where that's going to go because i need something there in the bathroom but i thank you guys for tuning in thank you so much um for all of the feedback that we've been getting i want to say um we really appreciate it continue to give us feedback and uh send us designs that you would like for us to recreate Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, and as always, be royal, be classy, and be creative.